Jeff Blackman talking right now with a couple of the Carroll Tiger girls soccer players after their matchup here tonight with the Kepper Knights. We'll start off with Harley Halber, who is over here on my left. And Harley, how did you feel like the match went tonight? I felt like we did really good. Uh, the score was only 2-0, to zero, so it wasn't bad. We had a lot of fun, and we had really good passes, and we all worked together really well today. How much do you think this team has really grown as the seasons went along? I believe we've grown a lot. Like I'm, this, I'm really happy on how good we've done throughout this whole year so far, and I really hope that we keep improving on how we are doing. What, what area did you think this team played its best at tonight? We did really good on defense. We had some really good forward movements up there, too. What stood out for you defensively? Ashley, she did really good with her clearing and getting the ball up there and turning it to get it up the line. So I'm really proud of her. Were you able to get the ball on the offensive end and get as many attacks tonight as oh, what you yeah. were hoping we, so? We had it up there a lot. I'm really proud on how we did that. Okay, let's talk a little bit about tonight. Uh, third annual kick for a cause. Talk about what it means to you and, and to be able to be a part of this and what this team kind of put into preparing for tonight. It meant a lot to me. I mean, I've always felt close with helping others and there I don't know if you guys know this little boy but his name's Carson and Carson Strong and me and my sister Sydney Helber we always play soccer for him with him in our hearts and we always pray for him because he's a strong little boy and he's been through so much. Can you tell us a little bit about his story? Um, he's had cancer and he got rid of it once but it came back worse and they're still trying to work on it and it's just such a sad story. And you can look him up on Facebook because I know he's on there. Okay. How did you and your sister and your family become aware? Uh, our mother was friends with his mom. So we keep updated with her. And my sister just sent him her a Facebook post saying that she's in our hearts and we're playing for him and that we'll always be there for him. If you can give him a message during this interview, what would you tell him right now? Carson, we love you. You're doing great. Keep fighting, little buddy, and we're proud of you. Well, I tell you what, Harley, thank you. That's a great message to give. Let's move over now to Desiree. And Desiree, how did you feel like your effort was tonight? Um, I feel I pushed real hard tonight. Kemper just might have had some lucky balls, but we had some too. They just might have got a little luckier, but we all played really hard. I, I feel I had a lot of good up balls. I had a goal that I should have made, but that's all right. Um, we overall just played really well, and I'm Take, very proud. I heard you talking about that goal that just went off the post. Take us through that shot. What were you seeing? Um, well, I noticed that no one was coming to me, and I know I have a strong enough foot to get it in there. So I just, I just knew I was aiming. I made sure my hips were straight right to the goal. I shot it. Went, it bounced, and uh, Kirsten Bauer was trying to go up to catch it. It went right overhead and hit the top post. And we had some forwards trying to go run to it, but defenders were good on that, getting to it. And But it was a good shot, and it was good on Kirsten's part, too. If you could change anything on how you took that shot now, knowing what happened, what adjustment would you make? I definitely would have kicked it just a tad bit harder, so it wouldn't have done that balance. It would have just went right in the goal. <laughs> Any other opportunities you think that the team had tonight that you just missed on? Um, we had some good opportunities where... Heather and Cassidy down the left and right side brought the balls in to the center, and we had some great shots on that, and we had some good corners where um, we just were scrambling a little bit too much, but we got the defenders to get a little confused, and we just had some good balls and just didn't get lucky enough. Playoffs still a few weeks away, uh, so what's this team need to do to be able to make a run come playoff time? Um, we just need to keep picking up the intensity, and we need to play harder. We, No matter what, just play harder, no matter the score of the beginning of the game, and we just need to keep pushing, and we just need to work on communicating all throughout the game, and we'll be set. Desiree, a third annual kick for a cause. Talk about the cause tonight. What's this mean for you? Um, it means a lot. I've been, I'm a senior, so I've been through all three kick for causes, each one tremendously important to everyone and we all just pray for Carson for his cause and um, he's definitely a strong kid we can just see it and when he was going out in half we could just tell how happy he was and that's just great we just what, like that feeling what message would you give to him here um, we all love you on Carol I know Kemper loves you too just keep going stay strong all right girls thank you very much appreciate it here tonight